horse face wife taking up all the conjugal visits. <laughs> that is so nice of you to visit your congressman. I never do anything nice for my congressman. <laughs> Hello. I'm applying for the job of press secretary. <coughs> and you are? A sissy Emerson, formerly with the style section of the Post. Hi, I'm Jennifer Malone. Miss Sugarbaker isn't here yet. Why don't you take a seat? That was fun. I've never said anything like that before. <laughs> I'll tell you what I really need is a little something to mix my morning health nut drink in. Oh! Here's a coffee mug. Yeah, thank you. Men are so stupid. Something wrong? No, I was just waiting for you to finish the sentence. No, I find that makes a very nice icebreaker just as it is. Of course, if you'd like me to elaborate, I could talk about the pantyhose I'm wearing, which were purchased by my ex-boyfriend, who never really did catch on that those, those charts aren't accurate. <laughs> so now I'm walking around with a crotch at knee level, looking like a penguin trying to catch an elevator. Speaking of which, I just saw poor old Bob Packwood on mine. <laughs> Gave him a little pat on the butt as he was getting off. <laughs> Nobody else saw it. He'll never be able to prove it. Mm. That's disgusting. What is that stuff? Oh, pureed granola, bee pollen, vitamins. Gosh, smells just like liquor. <sighs> yeah, well, sometimes I use a little morning glory just to kill that health food taste. <laughs> uh, look, I am a little tired of everything, and I am drinking. But I'm not drunk, okay? <laughs> Care for a coaster? No, thank you. I made these myself out of typing paper and little tiny fingernail scissors. All right, then. What the hell? So, what time is this sugar baker person getting here, anyway? Well, I'm sure any minute now. She must be running late. Oh, of course she's running late. Everybody says she's stupid. Or she's a lesbian. I forget which. She's either stupid or she's a lesbian. Or she killed a man. You know, maybe that was somebody else. Oh, you know how it is, so many rumors. Yes, and so little time to check them all out. That couldn't be why you've lost your job at the Post. Actually, if you must know, the reason I lost my job was because Sally Quinn didn't invite me to her New Year's Eve party. That's when my name started appearing on all those loser lists. Of course, you know she makes up those lists herself. And they must be right, because here I am with the two of you. <laughs> Applying for the worst job in town, working for some old dead congressman's bimbo wife, drinking my bee pollen and granola out of a cup that says world's greatest golfer that obviously has a hair in it. It's about as low as it gets, isn't it? I am so ashamed. I have never in my life served anything with a hair in it. Excuse me! Excuse me! Hi. I'm Suzanne Sugarbaker. Oh, my goodness! You're here! I'm Jennifer Malone. I'm applying for receptionist. We spoke earlier on the phone. Oh. Sorry I'm late, but we had to get my little girl Desiree enrolled in school. She's going to Sidwell Friends. You know, that's where Chelsea goes. <laughs> excellent, excellent choice. And by the way, Miss Sugarbaker, I just want you to know we were all absolutely devastated over your husband's untimely death. Well, I'm not sure how untimely it was. He was 76. <laughs> anyway, there's no reason to be sad. He lived a wonderful life and never suffered unless I wanted him to. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Sissy Emerson, and I'm applying for the job of press secretary, or lint picker, or dog walker, or whatever you have. I'm not proud, obviously, or I wouldn't be here. Excuse me, Miss Sugarbaker, but I would like to apologize for that insensitive remark. Some of us are extremely excited about the possibility of working for you. Well, whatever. Oh, by the way. I had to let the air out of somebody's tire. He was parking in Ray's old space. Now, it was a blue Chevrolet with a little handicap sticker in the back. If anyone calls about you, tell them not to park there again. That's our spot. You let the air out of a handicapped person's tire? Yes, I did. <laughs> you know, they have their own parking spaces now, so they certainly don't have any business pulling in the dead people's spots. <laughs> anyway, my brother Jim here is handicapped, too. He's mentally retarded. Oh, I know I'm supposed to say developmentally challenged, but we don't bother with that silly stuff. We think it's a hell of a lot harder to be retarded, don't we, darling? Shouldn't cuss, Suzanne. I know, you're right. Nails me every time. <laughs> this 
isn't that charming? <laughs> By the way, I'm Natalie Hollingsworth, administrative assistant. As you can see, I have 14 years of experience. Oh, well, I don't need to see any resumes. If y'all want these jobs, you can have them. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, of course. I'm just keeping Ray's seat warm as a favor to the governor until they can hold an election back in Georgia. Not that I don't intend to do a bang-up job. <laughs> Whenever I'm representing my home state, whether it's in a beauty pageant or, you know, something like this. <laughs> the qualities I look for in myself and everyone else around me are team spirit, pride in personal appearance, and a great big old sparkly smile. Excuse me, but I think I'm gonna need a little more breakfast. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, Jim. What's the date of that election, anyway? Tuesday, May 9th. The man is a human calendar. Never forgets an anniversary or a birthday. Though he did get a little confused this year and took the Christmas tree down on the 23rd. It was dry. I know it was, darling. I just like to kid you. Oh, he's a total safety net. He even went through my lingerie drawers and reinforced all the metal hooks on my bras. I made him stronger. You sure did, Precious, and I'm a better woman for it. Anyway, Jim makes these wonderful ceramic coasters and spoon rests, which we're hoping you will soon be able to purchase in the Congressional Gift Store. The proceeds, of course, will go to his school. Do you see these, Nadine? Uh, it's Natalie, and, uh, no, I didn't. Oh, these are lovely. <laughs> lovely? Are you kidding? They're a heck of a lot more than that. They're handy as hell. Oh, my gosh, I almost forgot. While I was waiting, I took some phone messages. Somebody from the White House called and said the president wants you to go jogging with him. You're kidding. How can you forget something like that? Well, I was in the middle of dusting, and it kind of scared me. I didn't know if it was a joke or what. Well, it doesn't matter. I can't go. I don't jog. <sighs> Why not? Because I'm very voluptuous. I mean, there's enough stuff going on just when I walk. If I jog, I might take out a couple of Secret Service agents. You know, I heard Hillary threw something the other day. Is that true? Of course it's true. It was either a lamp or a sofa. Maybe it was a party. I just know it had something to do with how she's... secretly running the country. There's a group of sheep farmers who've called three times to complain that jets flying over Dobbins Air Base are interfering with the mating habits of their sheep. So what do they want from me? Well, apparently it's in your district. Listen, I'm sure there's a lot of mating habits that are not going well in my district, but it's none of my business, okay? Anyway, if I start helping sheep, the next thing you know, cows will be calling. He's got a nose for humor, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm sorry. For a moment there, I was overcome by a deeply felt and seemingly insurmountable sense of futility, but I'm fine now. You know, whenever my little girl does a rain, I get down.